Boom! Well, here we are again at the Fly Can Ranch from Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. And uh, I want to show you something that I got my hands on. This one's used, and I'll get into all that. This is the Daisy Powerline 901. And these started in uh, about uh, 2015, but they're still made, so we'll show you down this way, come around this way. And it's pretty much the same game if you got your bolt right there. And uh, on the other side, I'll show you as we move along here, we'll come down this way. So um, this is the uh, Daisy Power Line 901. 177 caliber pellet. Now this will also shoot BBs. They'll go into this little port right here on the side. I haven't put any BBs in it as of yet. Flip that back up. Um, it does 750 feet per second. Its uh, overall length is 37.75. The barrel length is 20.80. It has an 11 millimeter dovetail. It is a rifle barrel, multi-pump pneumatic. So just looking it over real quick. Uh, this is sort of where Daisy up their game. This is a pretty solid carbon fiber, whatever you want to call it, polymer stock. And it's, and it's very, very nice, very, very strong. It's not like that hard plastic that we're used to seeing got a pretty decent I wouldn't say a rubber butt pad but right there in the back you got this sort of a rounded strip type stippling here for your grip and you have the same thing here on the pump now this does have the cross bolt safety so if you uh, take it oh yeah that's right you can't do this unless you're cocked up ready to go but if you push it to your left no you're right you're in safe push it back to your left, you are back into um, your uh, fire mode. Now this has uh, the little uh, sight that is adjustable for your um, elevation and you can pop that little screw and move the sight around for, for um, windage. That's a, that's a straight sight, way all the way to the front is your fiber optic blade. So I've been playing with this. I dropped a little uh, a used Umarex dope I had on here, and I've done pretty good with it. Now, I found this on, uh, I bought this one off eBay used, but I did find that, uh, I believe it was uh, Airgun Depot, I can't remember. They still sell this for right around $69, $99, $70, plus your shipping. And um, I want to share that with you. I'm, a, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, uh, a fan of the pneumatic air guns to me they kind of take you back to your youth when we had the the old uh, the 880s the uh, uh, what was that one that crossman had the 760 pumps and and all that kind of stuff and uh this one is really stuck with that tradition it's not that squeaky sound and it's it, like i said this is very very solid sounds good feels good it's not real wavy when you pump it up and um, very accurate so far anyway and I want to share this with you like I said they're still made you can still get your hands on them I just got this one for a heck of a deal from a, a guy that I bought before I think he sent me an offer on it or something like that so I just went ahead and snatched it up and it's cleaned the barrel out pretty good and uh, uh, it was pretty nasty I mean it probably never ever been cleaned I got it polished up real good. Uh, this is a little 4x32 scope that I slapped on her from Umarex. And uh, I think these uh, mounts are some of the original ones that come with the Winchester scope. But I chose to use a different mount on it at the time for some another project I had. One of many. So um, we'll let this load up. And then I'm going to sit down and, and get everything together. We'll do a shooting review with it. And uh, about, probably about 24 yards off. We'll see what it does. And we'll go from there. Uh, I went out to eat last night with my girlfriend. And the, uh, the uh, 
the engine trouble light and the battery light lit up on the on the panel on the on the Harley so I've got a bad stator or a bad voltage regulator one of the two I told you the other day if it ain't one thing it's another but I uh, charged it up took it back out didn't make it about around the block it lit up again so I'll probably have to test that and see which one's wrong and get it fixed but in the meantime back to the schedules it's just life, brother. It's just life, you know. We're gonna we're gonna put together a shooting review. I do want to share that with you, let you see it. Come on down the line, and uh, go back around it again. We'll we'll stand back here a little bit. And it's an excellent little pump gun. It really is. I've uh, I haven't had a time to shoot a whole bunch, but enough to know I like it. Like again, this is a a much heavier material than. And I might, if I get time, do a review on another pumper I got. And you can definitely see the difference on that quality. It works very well, too, by the way. So, But uh, we'll get to get our shooting review. And that's how we do it the Flying Canch. Flying Can Ranch. We'll see you all in a little bit.